Hello and welcome to my channel. So as you can see my name is Belinda and today's video is a Poundland haul. Um, well it's actually two videos split into one so I did start filming a Poundland haul not in my usual way as you'll see as we go along um, because there was so much stuff. I ended up on the first go spending £71 on the second go uh, just over 30 now all, not all of it was spent on the stuff that I'm about to show you but the main bulk of it was so I offered to do the children's entertainment for my brother's surprise 40th birthday party now I will mention it a few times during the video but I've not got children um, through my own choice and I wasn't quite sure where to start or what to do so I'm filming this now after the event um, I'm really pleased with how everything went and I'll show you a bit of that and then the second video that this will lead into is my brother's actual birthday but I'll do that as a separate one so he's got that just sort of as a, as a, a keepsake so without further ado let's get on with the Poundland haul and I shall go straight into a different area of the house and go through all the products and bits that I bought Gosh, where do I start with the list? this lot? Look at how much I've bought. So, um, what I've decided to do is split the goodies up into sections. So we've got this bit here, which is all sort of activities. And in here we've got uh, a couple of chalkboards, which I thought the kids could do some drawing competitions with. We've got some colouring masks colouring a mask 30, 15 minutes to make the best mask for a prize glow sticks for in the evening and you get I think it's 20 in there yeah pack of 20 for a quid that's good isn't it we've got some wild thing animal party masks Looks like there's an elephant, zebra, giraffe. I presume some sort of lion in there, so they're good. Uh, we've got these, this, which is a make some magic, create a crown and wand, two pack. I've got a good old couple of packets of uh, sticker albums. So there's a pirate one there. Sorry, the colour's going a bit funny here. Aim your ship and put a few bits in there. So I'm not quite sure of the ages of the children that are coming, so I'm trying to cater for everyone. Uh, a mermaid colouring book, and I think that's got some stickers as well. Yep, three stickers inside. Can't go wrong with a bit of that to keep kids entertained. Right. Some highlighters here, they could be used for colouring in, or I might use those in the goodie bags. Create a pirate hat and patch. So I think that. Yeah, it's a two pack, so that'll keep two of them entertained. So you've got the pirate sort of helmet hat thing there, and some patches. A uh, set of handcuffs, which always come in handy when you've got naughty kids. Um, I may well use those actually, if someone's misbehaving, they may get sent in the corner and handcuffed. Uh, we've got here some paint your own sun catchers. Oh, they're nice. So they're in rocket shape, so I thought they'd be good for boys. Um, and they will dangle up, I suppose, in the sun at home. Good old bubble ones. You get three of those. They're quite big, actually. We've also got a packet of balloons. I'm going to think of some games to go with the balloons. Punch it balls balloons. Um, I'm quite good at blow. Whoops, quite good at blowing up balloons, but there is quite a lot there to blow up. So I looked on eBay for some of these. So in the pound shop, obviously a pound. eBay, fair enough. It was a bigger packet of ten. They wanted three pounds fifty. So that's a real good bargain. Um, I had one of these as a kid myself, a ribbon dancer. So no doubt I will uh, demonstrate how to use that. And then what I thought I'd do for the the sort of prizes and and to because kids like to know they've done well don't they so everybody here or all of them will be getting some stickers so these have got great work wow well done um terrific job let's get a bit closer you did it what a star 
terrific jobs again there. A couple of packets of those, so all the kids can uh, feel quite included in on that. Bearing in mind, I haven't got any children and um, I don't spend a lot of time around kids, so I'm trying my best here. I'm not sure if this is going to be a bit rubbish. And then I've bought here as well, you get in a pack five, is it five, two, four, five medals. So I think that's nice for somebody who might win something. Um, then I'm going to make some goodie bags up and we may hide a few of these in the garden. Mum and Dad have got a decent sized garden with all nooks and crannies. So I've bought a packet of um, loot bags for the girls with the little unicorns on. That's 20 in there. They didn't have the equivalent for boys, which was a shame. So what I've done is bought instead some gift bags. So there's three in there. Um, little cactus on that side, just sort of a pattern on that side. And then there's a stripy one in the middle. And then some bigger ones. Um, <clears throat> again, I don't know whether I'll, I'll make these into sort of a prize bag. So time to celebrate. And then just a pattern one on there. And then to go in the goodie bags, I've bought some sweeties. My parents are going to love me. Uh, packs of Tang Fastics. I like those myself. We've got 10 packs in each. We've got a couple of those. I've got the Kinder Happy Hippos in the two flavours, white and chocolate. They look really swimmy. A um, couple of these, which I shall split between the packs, quick milks. So we've got strawberry and banana. They also did those in chocolate. And then some Rockies. So I need to think about maybe adding some, not all sweetie products in there. I need to think about maybe splitting some of this lot up because these are what I've bought as prizes. But there seems to be a heck of a lot of prizes, so I might split some of these up. So we've got a couple of air guitars. I went for a pink and um, a green. Can't be a bit of that. Even adults like those. I've gone for a unicorn headband. I thought that was really cute for a quid. We've got here a skipping rope. And then to make up some more goodie prizes, I've gone for one of these little notebooks. Blah, blah, blah. And I've got the pens to go with that. They're quote pens. Um, another one maybe for slightly younger girls. That's the unicorn theme with some highlighters. A boy equivalent of the monster notebook. These are about A5 size. And then some uh, monster highlighters to go with that. Another I've gone pad crazy. There's the sort of emoji set. And there's the matching uh, emoji pen in 10 colours. I used to love those as a kid. The Bic ones that had the four colours used to like those. So I thought that would make a nice prize. There's also um, an emoji set there, which has got a uh, sharpener, rubber, pen, pencil and ruler. I think that's great for a quid. Um, what I've done here, these are like pencil cases. So I may bundle those up as a massive prize in fact that would make a nice pass the parcel for a kid kiddie witty um and i may put a couple of bits already in there so i bought some pencils just some silver ones because they obviously can go for boys or girls and the glitter pens that i've featured in poundland halls before which i absolutely love so i could split those up between that and then i've got a, a female version as well then i've got a star wars lucky bag i was hoping to get a few more of these but they didn't really have many and they didn't have any for girls in the Poundland store I went into. So that might be something that I hide in the garden for a boy to find. This uh, wrestling sticker activity album. Not sure. I need to have a look through this because this might be a little bit too old. Um, if there's some older boys going, it might be okay. But I need to check that there's no um, sort of abusive language in there before I do anything with that one. But I thought that for a pound, that's really good. Um, just seeing if it's got an RRP on it, but no, it's not, so quid for that. And then some past the parcels, I've got some Mentos sweets. Actually, these were from Pound, uh, Primark. These were a pound for a pack of three. I thought that was pretty good value because they're quite expensive in the shops. So these are for the boys. Um, this is a pack of five little cars for two quid. And then I also thought I'd do an adult's um, past the parcel, but... Obviously, kids can win it as well. So, Oreo, this is lovely. Oreo dairy milk. 
box of matchmakers, box of fingers. And then I also bought these Toblerone bags. So again, for a pound, brilliant. And these are all, all in little wrappers. So I thought these, I might do the equivalent of an Easter egg hunt, um, but do it as a birthday hunt and put these around the garden. And then finally, just in this lot, I also got these, which I was going to just stick in mum's freezer when I get there. Um, these are ice pops and you get a 10 pack. They're really big, actually, very heavy. So um, I decided to get a few more items because the goodie bags weren't very full. So I popped back down to Poundland, spent a bit more money. Um, I've got two more sets of these. These are really good value, aren't they? Eight in a pack mini colouring books. And then to go with that, some felt tip pens. Look at all these. 40 pens, 40 colours for a quid. They might not be very good, but just for the party, they'll be fine. For in the party bags as well, I got a couple of packs of uh, these, which are bubbles. You get two, four, six, eight, ten in a pack for a pound. So 10p each, that's brilliant. Um, I've got another uh, lucky bag. I made up the little um, goodie bags now. Unfortunately, I haven't got any male ones, so they just have to have the pink ones. So in each one so far, I think we're near at the end, we've got a colouring book, a couple of the uh, bits that I showed earlier, which you add the milk to, a couple of packets of Haribo, I've put a few felt tip pens in each one. Um, this one's done quite well. He's got, or she's got the dime bar. In the others, they've got the Rockies or the Kinder. I've made up some of the prizes. I've wrapped them all up already. So I bought, uh, I've shown it, I'll show it on a picture. Um, I've stuck the presents together when I've put them to uh, wrap them with this little bad boy. This was from there as well. It's just like a tape dispenser. So I've done a pass the parcel or two of those using the wrapping paper and the tissue paper. Because at the minute I don't know what the ages of the children are or whether they're boys or girls, I've done a bit of a mixture. So I've got boys prize middle age, boys prize any age, boys, boys prize for young and the same for the girls. Um, I've got some adult gifts now as well because I've decided to do some adult games. So I've got a couple of packs of toffee fees. Good old Maltesers, can't go wrong with those. With a Malteser. Um, these I've already covered. I've ordered, well these weren't from the pound shop, but I've ordered these off eBay, some of the, um, do you remember years ago when you were kids that we used to make these aeroplanes out of polystyrene? So I've got some of those and then some Dino gliders, which must be a modern version. And then look at this, this is an absolute find. So this massive great big book, Ripley's Believe It or Not, and it's, um, it's current, 2019, a whirlwind of weird, and it's all sort of facts. Ooh, nice. Definitely think about have to give this to the adults. Just different facts around the world. Let's see if it's got an RRP on it. Oh, 20 quid? Got it for a pound? Flipping it, that is the bargain of the day. I picked up, because I wasn't going to go back to Poundland. Um, and I hadn't got any felt tips, because I've actually bought some more colouring books as well. Got these from um, Audi. One ninety nine. They're like rip-offs of Sharpies, aren't they? I'm hoping they're not permanent, though. That would not be a good idea around my mum's house. <laughs> but I've since now bought the, the other pens I've just shown you. I saw these as well. Magic markers. thought they'd be, these would be a nice price for a boy or a girl. And these are the ones that change colours when you um, touch them with the white felt tip. And then these are from Poundland. These pr plastic little... Um, containers I've got a couple of those and didn't have a use for them so I'm quite glad I've now found one so I've just filled them with a mixture of colours and pens so I'll just be able to take them and plonk them in front of the children to do a bit of colouring so this is the little table set up for the children got the uh, chalkboards out now all the sticker albums and the pencils and the felt tips so that's nice for the little kids to start and have like a playstation it's a full-on flipping event. Look at it all. <laughs> Deary me. Never do anything by halves. Mm. 
So I'm almost ready now for the party. I've got, crikey, this is taking me so many days to get ready. So we've got bags and bags full of stuff. I've got in here all the cake items. I've got plates, napkins, knives and forks, plastics, um, glasses. Uh, some really nice stuff actually. Look at that, I love that. That was from Home Bargains. Seventy nine pence. I've got a couple of those. In here we've got all the games and felt tips, uh, chalkboards, twister, masks, all sorts in there. In here, the goodie bag. So we've got all sorts in there. These are all my prizes, aside from everything else that I've bought. I've got the stickers that I've talked to, talked to you about already that say well done and all that malarkey. A pair of handcuffs, a lot of little rascals up here are naughty. And then just some extra sweets and chockies in there. So for mum and dad's I'm taking, look at all this lot, that's all that is prizes. There's absolutely a ridiculous amount in there. So I need to pack this lot up into our big truck for the party. Spent far too much, bought far too much, but it's the story of my life. I hope you'll enjoy it. So this is when having a big old truck comes in handy. The cake is securely in position. The cupcakes are seat, belt, seat belted in. And all the stuff is rammed in the back. Just a few more bits to go and we'll be there. So that is the huge haul over in Dunworth. Like I said, near on 100 quid in the old pound land. Um, I did get a few bits and bobs around the house and some of the stuff that I got um, I'll use at home or hopefully reuse. Uh, but I did manage to get rid of get rid of most of the stuff on the day at the party. Um, there wasn't that many children as you probably see from the video. Uh, but I sent them all home, home with bags and bags of goodies which obviously uh, they were very very pleased about and I got myself a few new friends. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you want to subscribe to the channel, just hit the button below. If you already have, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. I'm trying to grow the channel as much as I can because I do really enjoy doing this YouTube uh, malarkey. And I'll see you again on another video soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.